What's up you guys, it's your boy Next back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what do men and women consider cheating. So I saw an interesting video in my recommendations bar, so I decided to react to it for you guys and say my thoughts on it. So let me make my video capture a little bit smaller and let's get right into the video. Alright, here it goes right here. The channel is Michael Sartain, so subscribe to that channel. I don't know who he is, just the first time seeing this, but I mean... Let's get into it, y'all. When you talk about the intention, for men, for the most part, it is not the intention, it's the penetration. That is the gist. Yes. It really doesn't make it, make any difference to the, the rest of it. What is everybody's standard for what you think is cheating? Well, that's, mm. good. that's a good one. Let's do it. Especially uh, when we've already just gone through, like, what is, what kind of monogamy or what kind of like, sure. relationship. This is, that's a good question. Hold that thought for just a second. Let me see if I can tag something on here, before, give you something to think about before you answer that question. Um, because the way we do marriage and the way we do relationships right now is way different than we used to do it in the 20th century. Right. True. So what you're asking right here in a poly relationship, maybe even in your like we got two two people in the industry today um, with your situation. What would constitute cheating when you're already in an open relationship? But go ahead, Kate. Uh, for me, yeah, you answer your own question. Uh, <laughs> it really depends on the intention, I think. Uh, so sometimes if. I'm with a guy and I see him kissing other girls, like that would be cheating. But it's it's really weird. What if he's really fucked up? Uh, whatever. That doesn't change? Or it doesn't change whether or not is he's it a cheating? Is it kissing or like... Hey, what one thing, if I'm in a relationship, one thing I don't care about, whether you drunk or not, if you cheated, you cheated. I got a friend, I got a homeboy, right? And his girl cheated on him at a party that she asked him to go to. Like, I'm not saying women have to ask their man to go to parties, but she was respectful about it. She was like, babe, I want to go to this party. I haven't been to a party since we've been together. They've been together like almost two years at that point. So he was like, babe, go, you want to go to the party? Go to the party. So she goes to the party she's with her whole friends all of them beautiful you feel me all of them very attractive women so you know she went to the party it was way more niggas there than it was guys especially a lot of these parties i feel like well i'm not saying all but there'd be a few parties where it'd be more niggas than guys so they got really drunk and she ended up smashing somebody in the car and he actually drove her home you feel me and she got out the car with this nigga stumbling and out her boyfriend had to come outside and help her in the house looking like a goofy like she made him look like a goofy i know the nigga that smashed her probably drove off like that was her nigga he probably was laughing like yo bro like i consider if i'm in a relationship with a girl one thing that i've been through a lot in these in this generation like i'm gonna use when i was in college before i dropped out i was dating this this beautiful beautiful brown skin girl you feel me i was in love with that girl we was best friends before we dated we thought we was gonna get married all of that but i remember when we was in college niggas would flirt with her while i wasn't around and she didn't used to like like brush them off like i remember one time she admitted to me she was like she was in class and she was going through her ig photos she was showing a nigga her ig photos first of all why you gotta show a nigga her ig photos but let me tell you the part that got on my nerve so he was like yo damn girl she said exactly this and i was just was like she said that she said um thank you I appreciate it. What if if you, why are you even showing or flipping through your pictures for another man? You feel me? I consider if you if you out here looking for another mate secretly, I consider that cheating too. I'ma think you for the street. So later on, we broke up not because of that, but there was a bunch of reasons why I broke up with that girl. But there's a lot of things that I would consider cheating, and of course, nothing. I'm just gonna stop talking. Let's give. Let's see what they say. If it's a, well, is a it, hug it's that's the held a beat It's the longer. intention for me. I think. Like it's so crazy. Yeah, that's basically what I was saying. Her attention when I was in college was to find a new mate or probably find somebody just to smash. Who knows? But yeah, wait, no, so keep going, like, keep going. No, no, yeah. I agree with. I, I, I believe that you believe it's the intention. I just ferment it is not the intention. I don't know. For the it's intention, just like, it, you mentioned kissing a girl. What about if you hooked up with a guy, but the intention wasn't there? Like, you gave cheating. a girl example. It's oh, okay. You, you, okay, so it's still cheating. Okay, so it. it's not cheating if it was with a girl. No, no, that's not that's not what you're saying. Uh, For example, it depends. It, it but it depends on the on the the boundaries of the relationship. Exactly. So she mentioned yeah. It, yeah, I, she said exactly. it was an intention. Then she gave the example of kissing a sure. girl. So I'm asking, is it just girls? But I think I think she I think the intention of a guy kissing a girl. Yeah. yeah so what, what about what a guy? Yeah. Yeah, a guy kissing a girl like. I, can't. I got a random question for my viewers since most of my subscribers are men. So I got a friend that has a biological... <laughs> I'm saying that completely wrong. He has a, a girlfriend that is bisexual. 
and his girlfriend cheated on him with a female not with a stud with another like very feminine girl and he didn't care and when i asked him so why you just let her cheat he was like it's a girl i don't really care so honestly i'm not like that like if you cheat you cheat male or female but i want to know how many guys are also like this if your girl say your girl cheats with a feminine girl a girl that she cheats with a girl that looks just as much as her do you consider that cheating would you be mad let me know in the comments for real i found me in a relationship and I, yeah, yeah so that's what, what about I a guy yeah yeah a guy kissing a girl like i can't i found me in a relationship and i'm out and i'm like drunk with my girlfriends and i kiss one of my friends like i don't i wouldn't consider that cheating or even like just a little peck with like a friend mm. i would not consider that cheating but what makes it a woman be doing that that kissing each other shit a lot more than you know guys for real uh i would say inappropriate to me would be if i have expressed that i don't want you to be doing that and then you do it mm. set boundaries yeah exactly boundaries wherever your boundaries lie got it let's start uh, let's start over here that's uh, not Kylie, a bad what do, you, what do you consider cheating i mean i, th I think they just said it I that you agree with said, that i just agree with what she just said yeah absolutely yeah i mean yeah just don't disrespect me publicly is it and in is it intent? and yeah respect boundaries that absolutely is, yeah i agree but how do you set the boundaries like what are the boundaries talk we talk about, about it. it yeah you talk about <laughs> it's called, it's called it's communication, called communication and comprehension so, and what, but, so what do you what do you people. but what do you talk about like what's the like if you were to have that discussion with somebody what would be like okay i don't want boundaries it's okay I'm to do this but it's anymore. not okay that's what it is yeah but it's okay to do this but it's not okay to do this you could say like what's sure. too far for yeah, you yeah sure mm -hmm. you know yeah. like yeah. i'm comfortable yeah. with this yeah this puts me at risk for this though, or right. this will hurt my feelings etc oh yeah. uh, some things are not situational penetration vaginal penetration well, is not yeah, situational that's, yeah. that is uh, that I'm does not require context that doesn't i mean other than like sexual assault it doesn't require context eating ain't cheating and sucking ain't fucking is that what you're trying to say no i what i'm trying to say is uh let's say you have a history with some girl right and then she's gonna be out of the club and then i know that you used to have a history with her and yeah. then i see you making out with her i'm gonna be pissed about it mm. yeah because yeah. you think there's an emotional investment in yeah, yeah women care more about that than men yeah of course yeah. No, maybe, yeah we can i was gonna get to that point but yeah that's definitely so i got something random to say who remembers when this whole jonah hill debacle was going on so let me explain the situation so jonah hill everybody knows he's a very popular actor and he was dating this really attractive girl who was a um she was a surfer before she met him and things like that so before I'm, I'm talking about boundaries since they were talking about boundaries so his boundaries when he get her in a relationship is him saying i don't want you always posting like promiscuous stuff online always around guys who want to smash you things of that aspect so at first she abide by his boundaries but then i guess she probably got bored in a relationship so she wanted to post bikini pics all the time show her ass all the time things of that aspect and then Basically, she tried to expose him online for being insecure when that was his boundaries. And in that situation, I believe he was right and she was in the wrong because he told you before y'all got together, yo, this is my boundaries. I don't want you hanging around with a bunch of guys, especially guys who want to smash you. And I don't want you wearing promiscuous outfits and showing and showing your butt off to Instagram all the time, stuff like that. But she tried to expose him and say he was insecure. One random thing I'm going to say about situations like this. As a man, when you cheat on a girl, you are getting freaking destroyed by the internet, by the world. They're going to talk junk about you. He's unfaithful. He this, that, and the third. You could lose money off of that. You could lose a job opportunities, all types of stuff. But when a woman um, cheats on her man, nobody bats an eye. Look at Will Smith. Like, Jada Smith went on a podcast, admitted to her husband face, yes, I was smashing August Alcina. I was smashing. She called it an uh, entanglement. It's funny. I'm not popping junk about them because I'm a huge fan of Will Smith. But the point is, as a woman, when a woman cheats on her man, you know what the world say? Oh, he wasn't. He must have ain't been doing something right. But when a man cheat on his girl, he's just the most, the biggest demon in the world. It's crazy to me these double standards that go on in this society. Do y'all agree? Let me know. Like a big part of it. So when you talk about the intention, for men, for the most part, it is not the intention. It's the penetration. That is the gist. Yes. It really doesn't make it make any difference. The the rest of it. Like I can tell you right now, they they do they do they do surveys this on all the time when they ask men and women what would bother you more as far as cheating is concerned. A your boyfriend has like spent money on another woman and has an emotional connection, but no sexual intercourse, or he has sexual intercourse with a woman he does not have any feelings for. And then they do the same thing with men. They ask. Would you rather not the woman have 
uh, spend money and have emotional uh, tie to this guy or and have no sex or have sex and have no emotional. That's and, interesting. And it's crazy. For women, the Eye problem. contact before marriage. Yeah. Just <laughs> the, the fucking. That was, that was for, good. For women, it's good. like 87% of the time, the emotional cheating is way more deleterious. They hate it mo so much more. For men, it's 97% of the time, a penis going inside of my, my woman is worse than anything else that could possibly happen. Because, yeah. let's go back. I'm one of those guys, look, I don't advocate for anybody cheating. I think if you're in a relationship and y'all both of y'all boundaries are, I don't want you smashing another person and y'all agree to this, you should stick by it, you feel me? But I do know for a fact that men, we could smash girls. Let's say I had, a, if I had a girlfriend right now and I was in love with my girl, let's say I smashed another girl. I could still love my girl just as much as without me smashing the other girl because the other girl to men, like sex is like a just getting a nut off a lot of the time. So if a man cheats on his wife, I don't. I'm not saying it's good. I'm saying it doesn't mean he doesn't love her anymore. That's one thing that I honestly agree with when cer certain creators say, and I think it's true because men we we not always so emotionally involved with sex. We just a lot of the times we just trying to get a nut off. Like how many guys out here done slept with a girl that you didn't see your future with, wasn't really attracted to, or even interested in a little bit, but you slept with her to do what? To get your nut off. Be honest, y'all. How many of us did that? So I think. A man can cheat on his girl and still love her a lot of women they don't agree with this i feel like because women when they sleep with a man they there's pheromones that get released like whenever a woman sleeps with a man it's different from a man like they start to fall for them i know a lot of women start to say yeah i can have sex without catching feelings but eventually eventually they all catch feelings i never had sex with a girl more than like three times without her catching feelings no rather if she had a boyfriend at the time husband because i didn't slept with married women too and i'm saying i'm out here getting all this you feel me i'm this super ladies man but i have done this you feel me and every single time they have caught feelings one time i blocked the girl because she was with her husband and i felt bad because they had kids and they was black like i just felt bad man and then Another girl, she had a boyfriend. She was lying to both of us. Like, it's this world is crazy. I let, let me know your thoughts on this. Again, I'm not saying it's okay for a man to cheat. I'm saying it's a little bit different. I honestly believe that. So let me know what you think about that. 50,000 years ago, the worst thing for, to happen to me is not death. The worst thing for me to happen is for me to not have a child with you and for me to raise someone else's child, not realizing that my genetics do not get passed along because you slept with someone else. I seen a, a, a video online. It was about somebody who worked at like, what whatever those clinics called where you get to see the DNA test results for your kid and they, he said over 40 percent of the kids that get tested the the father that's because that's um prescribed to be the father isn't the father you feel me over 40 percent of the time that's almost 50 this is crazy difference between man and woman if I if I fuck a girl and I have a girlfriend and the girl catches feelings, you know what she going to do? I'm going to blow up your spot. Oh, uh, yeah, she exposes you. But as a man, the best position you could be in as a man is to smash a girl that got, got a boyfriend or a husband. You know why? I'm not advocating for this. I'm, let me tell you why. Because you don't have to deal with her yapping. You don't have to deal with her problems. None of that. You literally get the one thing you want, which is most men want. You get to smash and dip right away. You feel me? So it's very convenient for a man. So if a man really finds a girl sexually attractive, he's not going to mess up a good thing that he has going. But women, one thing women hate, they despise this, y'all. They hate when a man, when they realize that a man that they want only want them for sex, bro. They will ruin your life a lot of the times. Like, how many times have we done seen women out here falsely accuse men of sexual assault and any, and all this stuff? I'm not saying all men who, I mean, I'm sorry, y'all. not saying all women who accuse men of sexual assault are lying. I'm saying maybe a little bit are. You feel me? I done, I done seen a lot of different um examples online where the girl s willingly slept with a guy, but because he ain't want to be with her and she regretted sleeping with him because he ain't know that she ain't know that he would ever he would never wife her up she said it was sexual assault sexual manipulation when it was not you willingly slept with him just like he willingly slept with you he just didn't want to take it further and you got mad hell has no fury than a woman scorned
on my back. There's nothing possibly from a genetic standpoint that is worse than cuckoldry. Nothing. And that's the reason why men are, they act jealous. And there's some really crazy studies on jealousy. Most of the time when men are jealous, do you want to know what the reality is? They're right. That's what ends up happening. <laughs> jealousy is an evolutionary adaptation. When you c consistently instinct. suspect your girlfriend, of, you have this instinct of your girl cheating, it tend, you tend to be correct. It's crazy. Now, now is it all the time? No, that's, yeah, they're that's doing projection. It. Yeah, no, but sometimes I'll, it is projection because they're doing it, but also a lot of times they are correct. I'm Women not, take the way, it to the grave. If she cheat on you, you might never find out. Like I seen a video online, this guy was going around and asking women, um, what's the worst thing you've done to her ex? And over like 50 different women in Miami all said, I cheated on my ex-boyfriend and he never knew. Like women, they will take things to the grave. You will never find out. Even if y'all stay together or break up, you will never find out. The reason you're feeling is... But when I, but I don't like, know let, one example of them being let, correct. Let, 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 me, because, because, <laughs> let me try to think of one from previous friends. Yeah, but maybe you're 21 years old. Okay, like, uh, yeah. knowing everybody else that I know, and I've never heard it not one time. Okay, I, I can, not, I can he, tell... He I can probably tell you a hundred mm -hmm. times where I've seen a guy who's like suspected a girl of cheating and it turns out he was correct. Now, here's the thing. It's not over 50%. It's a gut it's a, check. Yeah. It's yeah. instinct. But, but, but I'm, yeah. what I'm saying Women is, have the same thing. Yeah, like yeah. Of course, ways. for sure. Feeling suspicious. For sure. Know. But no, that's the thing. Jealousy is an evolutionary adaptation. It's not yeah. immaturity. And uh, people say, well, it's insecurity. No. Well, we, Go ahead. Yeah, that makes sense because the goal is to survive long enough to pass on your genes. And the worst thing is to raise a child that's not yours because you didn't succeed yeah. where your goal as a so animal the, is. So the guys Facts. that were more suspicious and had the instinct for jealousy and mate guarding, those are the guys who went on to pass on their genes. And the guys who didn't, they didn't. Yes. So there's a lot of. <laughs> you know what's crazy? I talked about this story in my in a previous video I did but there was this this girl with viral on TikTok she told her story of how her man her man I'm tripping y'all but her father raised three kids by her mother they was married for 40 something years and basically when he was Oh, in his 60s, he was on his deathbed. He needed a blood transfusion, transfusion for whatever medical reason. So his oldest daughter, the one that went to viral, she told the story. She um volunteered to give him the blood transfusion. So the doctor took her blood, and then the doctors realized, ain't no way this is your father. Why is the blood so differently? So the father took it upon himself to get a DNA test results for all three of his daughters. It came up that none of his daughters was his. You feel me? So the wife had three she was married for over 40 years longer than the kids been born you feel me and the wife she she had three kids with that wasn't his three different kids that he thought it was his he raised them from birth to adulthood they in their 20s living a good life you feel me and the guy ended up killing himself like a lot of guys can't take when a woman cheat on them i know women some women can't take it either but i feel like women would be more okay with it if they know you never loved her you never gave her no emotional or or physical benefit no money nothing like that you just you just she just was a hoe to you i feel like they would be more okay with it would they be okay with it period no but they would be more okay with it as a man a lot of men can't handle that with a girl cheating bro i remember when i thought my ex was cheating on me like whenever i used to think about it my heart would pound out my chest i later broke up with her but some men can't take that bro those are the guys who went on to pass on their genes and the guys who didn't they didn't yes so there's a lot of nice guys throughout our evolutionary history yeah. that did not become our ancestors <laughs> because they were super yes. fucking nice and they were like <laughs> and no no chat 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 off at us they chat, right now. Chat, I'm go chat i'm gonna go off hunting over here with rollo yeah. and you go ahead and watch my wife watch my wife while i'm going i trust you chad like those guys didn't pass on their genes <laughs> brock come yeah, on brock <laughs> brock got to pass on his genes and he was an asshole and did nothing you know Ky what I'm saying? kylan mm -hmm. is that what yeah, you said no, kyler. 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 kyler it's always a dude it's always a dude and Kyler and fuck, bro, stay away from Kyler. Why do you have yeah. a Why do you have a foam cannon over the chest? Yeah. What's that? <laughs> that's, that's pretty crazy. But no, when I say when I say a proclivity to figure out cheating, it's not over fifty percent. Most of the time, they're not correct. What I'm saying is, it's it's a statistically significant, highly num high number of times when a man suggests that, or when a man suggests or suspects that his girl's cheating on her, it's like more than 30% of the time. It's like a significant number. Bro, it's not as, as a man, like, you know, when you date a girl for a long time, you know what turns her on and shit. And you could like sense it. You could sense it. Can he fuck my bitch? Is he fucking my bitch, bro? You can sense that as a Over man. 50%. I thought this was a good video. The video was very short. I never seen this YouTube channel. It's probably a podcast. I might check out another one of his videos one day if I see an interesting one to talk about. But let me know your thoughts on everything I said and everything they said in the comments. Do you agree? 
with anything I said, honestly. Like, I could be wrong. I don't advocate for cheating at all. I just think it's different between a man and a woman when a man cheats versus when a woman cheats. I hope you guys have a good day. Thank you for watching this video. Peace, y'all.